It May Seem Like Yesterday, Yet the Alfa Romeo 145 was presented over a quarter of a century ago, in July of 1994. Sales to the public started in September the same year, and the model's distinctive styling was very well received. Over 220,000 units were sold by the time production ended in 2000. Time to make a weekly trip down memory lane and discover 5 things you probably didn't know about the Alfa Romeo 145 and 146. The 145 and 146 have been the last Alfa Romeos powered by the flat 4 engines introduced with the Alfa Sud in 1971. But few people know that Alfa's boxers were actually supposed to die with the 33. However, since Fiat couldn't produce enough inline 4 engines for all the group's brands, Alfa's boxer engines were retained for the 145 and 146 until 19. 1997. The 1.3, 1.6 or 1.7 liters boxer engines and the 5 speed manual gearbox were installed longitudinally in the 145's body shell. However, buyers could also opt for the diesel versions of the 145 and 146. In that case, the cars had their powertrain placed transversely. This detail makes these Alphas rather unique, as only a handful of modern vehicles have been available contemporarily with longitudinal or transverse mounted powertrains. As we all know, the long history of Alphas boxers came to an end in 1997, when the 145 and 146 received the new Twin Spark 16 valve inline 4 engines. The entry level engine, a 1.4 liters unit rated at 103 horsepower at 6300 rpm, wasn't shared with any other Alfa or Fiat model and would be quietly discontinued at the end of the 145's run in 2000, as the smallest of the Twin Spark family had its own specific cylinder head casting, so getting rid of it simplified engine production. Car design legend Chris Bengal is credited with the Alpha 145's striking shape, but few people know that his design was actually intended for a Lancia 4-door hatchback, a replacement for the Delta. However, Fiat's design boss Mario Maioli saw it as an Alpha, so the project went to the Arese Centro Stile, then directed by Walter De Silva. There, the 145 became the three-door hatch we all know and love, and it gained its signature bonnet design and wider front fenders. Alfa Romeo's German subsidiary released in 2000 a special edition of the 145 called Limited 500, to stimulate sales of what was, by then, a run-out model. Sold in 500 individually numbered units, all painted black and fitted with Zender alloy wheels and a rear spoiler, the 145 Limited 500 could be had with either the 1.4 or 1.6 liters twin spark engines or the 1.9 turbo diesel. Inside, each Limited 500 came with a fake aluminum console, aluminum gear knob, pedal covers and handbrake handle, leather steering wheel with red stitching and, of course, the example's progressive number on the console for all to see. This special 145 model was well received, so Alfa Romeo Deutschland repeated the trick shortly after with the Edizione Sportiva, identical to the Limited 500 except for the paint color, Alfa Red instead of Black. And if you'd like to discover more obscure Alfa Romeo trivia, there's a playlist appearing on the screen right now. Click on it, you won't be disappointed.